Well, good morning. This is Jeremy Williams representing Garden City Ammonia Program, GCAPCoolCast.com. Today is Friday, the end of January, and I uh, wanted to bring you another R717 video podcast of the day. And uh, today what I want to talk about, you know, is just some things that we can, uh, you know, learn without an actual mechanical refrigeration system running. It's, uh, it's amazing, you know, what you can learn when they're on. But uh, sometimes as well, you know, there's a lot of things that um, – when the noise is away and the, the compressors aren't pumping away, that uh, there's a lot of things out there that uh, at least has enlightened my career for sure. So uh, let's come around here and see if we can't take a look at some of the things that we want to show you today and look at the aptitude of what happens when ammonia, or what, where does ammonia go, I should say, when the machinery room turns off, or that sole compressor that you're using, or a compressor bank, the header isn't running anymore. Uh, and in the winter time, you're going to find that the condensers that are located outside are going to be probably most likely in an environment that are colder than your main machinery room and engine room. So what's going to happen is uh, gases are going to seek that area. And when they seek that area, they are going to begin to release the heat into the environment the condenser's in, and then the gases condense. And when they condense, they make liquid. And when a mechanical refrigeration system has an equalization line, going to find that that liquid ammonia is going to fall back to that main high pressure receiver regardless of where it's at. Uh, so some things that are pretty neat here, I'm going to flip the camera around and let you kind of see this, but I'm going to come around to this side and what you're looking at right here is what we call a CD line. And this CD line stands for condenser drain and I'll bring a label down here so you can kind of see the pipe label that I'm dealing with. And what's happening right now is essentially all of our ammonia has backtracked back to our main high pressure receiver and the high pressure receiver is at a point where it's at max capacity for its level all the other ammonia and all the other vessels and heat exchangers has essentially came back to here and we got about another foot above that sight glass of where our liquids at and that ammonia right now is currently boiling in that pipe we're dealing with the pressure of about I don't know 60 psi which is about a 45 degree ammonia boiling temperature and this engine room that I'm in right now is 60 degrees so the ammonia that's being absorbed into the main high pressure receiver which is directly right there behind me um, it's boiling and then the bubbles are going up this pipe but as those gases go back to that condenser outside it makes liquid and it refalls down so sometimes one of the nice things about the winter time is all of our ammonia comes back to the HPR Sometimes it gets stuck in the condenser when we run, but uh, we hope that this was a good week for everybody out there And that's our r717 video podcast of the day video tip of the day uh, This week this is being brought to you by p1 group. So we appreciate all everything that p1 group does This is another major supporter and sponsor of GCAP and um, great vendor and contractor out of the uh, Kansas City area, but national representation if there's anything that we can do for you, please check out gcaptraining.com. Uh, we're going to be bringing on our newest online course today, which is Ammonia Operator 1 in Spanish. And uh, looking forward to the opportunity for the industry to be able to use that as a resource. Until we see each other again, let's keep it in the pipes.